Grey's book, The Power of Now, the brilliant author, <coughs> Eckhart Tolle begins with a prayer. He tells the story of a beggar sitting on a box at the roadside, asking the passerby some money for food. <coughs> one, day a passerby, <coughs> one day a man comes along, says, I have nothing to give you, but what is in the box you are sitting on? This old box. It's just a box. I've been sitting on a long time. Have you ever looked inside? The man asked. No. What's the point? Take a look, he insists. Finally, the beggar pries open the lid of the box. To his astonishment, finds it filled with gold coins. The same box he had been sitting all his life, begging. On a chair, George Master. It was a final interview. We were two people shortlisted. And was I sure to get the job? In fact, I was desperate for the job. Because I hated the job I was doing. More so, I hated my boss. He was making my life miserable. And this job was my opportunity to get out of it. That was the day. I was selected. I was disappointed. I was this close to walk, a last walk from the boss's office. That didn't happen. I hated the situation. I was so angry at myself. I didn't want to talk to anybody, especially my wife. But because the last thing I wanted was get another advice from her. I was ready for that. <laughs> but as soon as I entered the room, there she was. What happened? Really so upset? I said nothing. I said, tell me, I can help you. No, I don't. <laughs> I said, you really want to help me? Stop bothering me. <laughs> Leave me alone. I shouted. And she never seen me like that. She was shocked. Quite feeling inside. The next two days, there was absolute silence at home. Third day, she came to me with an envelope in her hand. For the moment, I thought it must be a divorce paper. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I wasn't that lucky. It was a letter from our son's boarding school. When I opened it, I saw that. Oh my God, he again failed in mathematics. That's the time I realized, what kind of a life is this? I could not get the job I desperately wanted. I hated the job I was doing. And my boss was making my life miserable. And I have a wife kept nagging me all the time. And now, my son is failing. Do I really deserve this? Why me? That's the time I noticed my wife quietly sat in front of me and told me, I don't know what is bothering you. But for a moment, just listen to me as your friend. Now that's a nagging wife. <coughs> I thought, is she really reading my mind? Oh my God. Then she continued, regarding your son, you go to the school, pick the principal, and find the way out. Whatever your decision, I'm with you. That made me calmer. Then I told her about my job interview and why I was upset. Then she held both my hands and said, I absolutely understand I'm with you. But tell me one thing, is it the job you really wanted? I just want to escape from the one you hated most. Maybe we should look from a different perspective. What do you mean? Then she said, you remember three years ago we started this company in my name? After six months I realized I was not a business person. I took up the job again. But you kept renewing the license every year. Because that's your dream. Running your own business. I said, okay, I'm afraid. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to jump into it. As for the household expenses, I still have a job. You have married it. But you have to take the call. So whatever you do, I am with you. For a moment, I absolutely got confused. Who is this woman? Is she really my wife? She doesn't look like. Where was she all these days? Anyway, I went to the school, I spoke to the principal, and he was happy to see us. And he told me, don't worry. Your son is not 
the only one. And I think there are many intelligent children who hate mathematics. You take my advice, let him drop mathematics. I said, class nine, dropping mathematics? He said, yes. When I went and told this to my son, I could see the sparkle in his eyes. He said, really, dad, is it possible? I never seen any kid you know, happy to get rid of the mathematics. But I could relate that I hated the job in the school. Anyway, I gave the application, came back to Dubai, resigned from my job. I took the last walk from my boss's office happily. I started running my life business. And the school final, our son got 86 marks. The same kid was failing because of the mathematics. One day I was walking towards my car in Ingumar's car park. Then I saw this lady opening a BMW X5, one of my dream cars. I thought for a moment, what a lucky person. I wish her had a life. Then I noticed she was struggling to put something into the car. So I went to help her. On reaching closer, I realized that was a special need girl sitting in a wheelchair and daughter. I helped her. She said, can I? She said, please. After that, I said, I'm really sorry. Is there anything I can do? She looked at me. I could see the tears in her eyes. She said, you know, for the last 16 years, I've carried my baby. Maybe it's my luck. She really joked. I was stunned for a moment. Isn't that luck I was wishing a moment ago? Maybe I was like a beggar sitting on the box, not knowing it's filled with blessings, like my son is walking on his leg with the dreams in his eyes. My wife holding my hand kept saying, we are doing fine. I may not be having a growing successful business, but I'm still on my own. Friends, I came across the beautiful quote. I cried because I had no shoes until I saw a man with no feet. Life is full of blessings. Sometimes we are just too blind to see them. Over to you.